I, I think that, you know, for a long time, uh, the legal, legal industry, those who work in it, uh, it's been considered more of a profession than an entrepreneurial endeavor. Mm -hmm. And that made sense for a long time. I mean, I, you know, I practiced in the United States and for a long time, you know, working at law firms, there were more institutional clients, you know, the ones that would sort of stick with the firm year over year. And, okay. and younger lawyers, they were told things like, just kind of keep your head down and do good work. You don't have to necessarily, um, you know, go out and think about building a practice. All you really need to do is, is do good work and the future will take care of itself. And I think that's really changed. I mean, across the economy, there's been obviously great disruption and great dispersion uh, where people have to take more direct control over their careers and, and you know, really take ownership of their future to a gr greater extent. And that's, no, that's certainly the case in the legal industry. So, um, the, the good news is, I think, with all of the disruption from COVID and just the general shifts in the economy towards a more digital one, um, remote working being much more common, I think, around the world, there are more entrepreneurial opportunities for lawyers to be taking advantage of. Things like really thinking about building your personal brand on LinkedIn and other platforms through connection and, and content creation, um, thinking about, you know, how do you build a practice as a lawyer um, such that you have, I, I oftentimes hit upon this concept of autonomy, the idea that one of the best ways I think to get satisfaction out of one's career is to be more autonomous, meaning more independent, more in control, and more, uh, more apt to be able to shape your future circumstances. And I think for lawyers, the best way to do that is not to necessarily just count on your colleagues to feed you work, but rather to have clients of your own. And as a result, that requires you to think more like an entrepreneur as opposed to just someone who's an employee in a business. Um, and then the flip side of that, or, or, or in addition to that, why I think entrepreneurship is so, so top of mind for lawyers right now is that, uh, you know, I think that more and more lawyers are looking for opportunities to expand what they're doing and generate income and generate satisfaction outside of just the practice of law. So I know that um, I'm observing more lawyers starting to become coaches. You know, we talk, we, we mm. oftentimes call these things side hustles, mm. right? Where you're, you have mm. a full-time okay. career, but you're starting to pursue something new on the side. So that might be, you know, writing books, starting a podcast, becoming a coach, doing okay. some consulting work. Um, starting some business in another domain, uh, maybe creating an online course, whatever the case might mm. be, I think there are mm. opportunities for lawyers to take their expertise and translate those into, you know, some other product or service. And, and I think because we're in an era where there are far fewer gatekeepers to those opportunities, you know, you don't need to wait on a publisher to publish a book. You can just self-publish on Amazon or, you know, podcasting is much easier to do than ever before. Um, you can start a blog and, and start generating, um, you know, uh, at least an audience such that you can turn that audience into, into some new business. So the opportunities are there. It's just, it's the moment, I think. I think there's a, a desire to pursue different interests that may be outside of um, just the practice of law. And, and we're in a moment where that's possible. So I think that's kind of why I was thinking about this year being entrepreneurial, um, especially in the legal profession.